landing spot, scheme, offensive weapons, rushing upside, and most of all, opportunity all play a huge role in determining whether or not these young signal callers should be on our rosters heading into the 2021 season. I'm Dave Lockram with AwesomeMode.com, highlighting four rookie quarterbacks to keep an eye on as we draw closer to our 2021 fantasy drafts. Hit that like button if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe to the channel and let's dive into it. Trevor Lawrence was taken number one overall by the Jacksonville Jaguars to be their quarterback of the future. And the 21-year-old Clemson product will slot into the starting role immediately, which is why he ranks number one on our list for 2021. There are still some unknowns at play here, like Urban Meyer taking the reins in his first year as an NFL head coach, but Lawrence possesses all of the tools to look like an NFL caliber quarterback straight out of the gate. And he isn't completely devoid of offensive weapons either. With DJ Shark, Marvin Jones, LaVisca Chenault, James Robinson, and Travis Etienne, situations have looked far more bleak for rookie quarterbacks drafted by teams who just finished dead last in the NFL a season ago. But Lawrence's rushing upside is what really makes him an intriguing fantasy option from day one. He doesn't have the same abilities on the ground as some of the other quarterbacks from this draft, but over his last two seasons at Clemson, Lawrence ran for 766 yards with 17 touchdowns. He finished with 30-plus rushing yards 14 times over those 25 games. Moreover, it's very possible that the Jaguars' defense remains well below average this season, thus creating more favorable fantasy conditions for Lawrence. Rushing upside and the need to throw the football thanks to a penetrable defense can be the perfect ingredients for success when it comes to Lawrence's fantasy outlook as a rookie. Consider him a borderline top 12 quarterback for 2021. Now we just have to hope that 33-year-old Tim Tebow isn't siphoning off any of those goal line snaps. Rushing quarterbacks can become cheat codes in fantasy football. That's why Justin Fields could easily be the number one rookie quarterback at the end of 2021. But it all depends on whether or not or when he gets the ball. The Bears traded up nine spots with the Giants to select Fields at 11th overall, and that trade included Chicago giving up a 2022 first round pick. While it's still unclear who will be the day one starter in Chicago, we've seen this play out plenty of times in the past. Someone like Andy Dalton gets the nod in week one, is terrible, and Fields is starting within a week or two. I'd imagine the mounting pressure on Matt Nagy to start Fields right away will be pretty intense as well. The only problem is the Bears gave Dalton a one-year $10 million contract this offseason, so it might not look great for them if he never starts a game. Fields rushed for 867 yards and 15 touchdowns across 22 games and two seasons as a starter for Ohio State, and is precisely the type of quarterback who can make an impact right away. He's actually a pass-first quarterback, though, who last season finished with the second-highest adjusted completion percentage according to Pro Football Focus. The fantasy upside here could be insane, especially when you have a legitimate wide receiver one in Allen Robinson and the legs to take off whenever necessary. Look at Lamar Jackson, who started seven games in his rookie season, but racked up 695 rushing yards and five touchdowns. Or a more practical example would be Jalen Hurts, who despite going one in three in four starts was a fantasy goldmine, producing 272 rushing yards and three touchdowns over three and a half games. Sorry, Giants fans. And Josh Allen was an awful passer as a rookie, but huge rushing upside was the key to fantasy success there as well. And we can't even assume Fields will be a below average passer out of the gate. Here's the bottom line. You aren't drafting Justin Fields as a starter, but he could very well be your starting quarterback come playoff time. So don't be afraid to draft him as your backup, even if he doesn't start a single game this season. You can still stream quarterbacks off the waiver wire if and when you need a spot starter. I'd rather draft Fields with insane late round upside in mind than settle for someone like Derek Carr. I'm willing to load up on fields in best ball leagues too if his ADP falls based on uncertainty surrounding his role. I just don't see any way he isn't starting sooner than later. And you can stack him with a top weapon like Robinson, while Cole Komet and Darnell Mooney should continue to improve in year two. And these are two players you should get at a discount. Like Trevor Lawrence, Zach Wilson is positioned to start all 17 games this season if he can stay healthy, which has been a bit of an issue in the past. The New York Jets drafted Wilson at number two overall and intend to immediately install him as their quarterback of the future, making him at least an interesting rookie to discuss for fantasy purposes in 2021. On one hand, Wilson has many of the intangibles that we're looking for in a young signal caller, as someone who's capable of creating plays out of nothing with both his arm and his legs. He's even been compared to Patrick Mahomes, which is the highest form of praise for a quarterback coming into the league. But Wilson doesn't have Andy Reid, and he certainly doesn't have Travis Kelsey or Tyreek Hill. Hell, he doesn't even have a remotely decent-looking backfield. It was encouraging to see the Jets trade up to get Elijah Vera Tucker to slot in alongside Mekhi Becton and hopefully bolster the offensive line. 
but there are still a lot of unknowns in New York with a first-time play caller and Mike LaFleur, a group of pass catchers who don't exactly instill much confidence and an offensive line that should be improved but ranked 31st in pass blocking just last season according to Pro Football Focus. Ultimately, Wilson is one of only two rookie quarterbacks currently in line to play a full season as his team starter. That's good for something. But he's a last-round backup in redraft leagues for someone looking to load up at other positions before drafting a second quarterback and probably doesn't need to be drafted at all. In best ball formats where you're drafting three quarterbacks and stacking them with their pass catchers, Wilson actually makes a lot more sense as we at least expect him to be on the field every week. Speaking of rushing upside, Trey Lance ran for 1,325 yards in only 19 games for North Dakota State. The 49ers traded up to take Lance third overall and intend on using him as their quarterback of the future. That might not be until 2022, though, as they've yet to find a trading partner for Jimmy Garoppolo. And while the rookie quarterback is very, very talented, he's still raw and inexperienced. In a dream scenario, Lance starts in week one and is throwing the guys like George Kittle, Debo Samuel, and Brandon Ayuk, while Kyle Shanahan calls plays that make him look like he's been doing this for much longer than he has. But this is no guarantee, and it's actually pretty unlikely if Garoppolo is still in San Francisco. Lance has the coach, he has the weapons, the run game, the offensive line, and more importantly, the rushing upside to immediately have fantasy success at the NFL level, even if he's inexperienced. But unlike Lawrence, Wilson, and even Fields, he'll have a much tougher path getting on the field in his rookie year. He's a top pick in dynasty leagues, especially in super flex or two quarterback formats. But until we know who's starting for the 49ers, it'll be hard to target Lance in redraft leagues. Lance found the best long-term landing spot of any first round quarterback, but could also spend more time watching games from the bench than any of them. Thanks for watching and be sure to head to awesomeo.com for all of your fantasy football needs.